got on the water and this trolling motor just spins this motor guy 24 volts uh, motor guy pro series motor guy pro series uh, 70 pounds push trolling motor when it gets on the water it just keeps uh, the lower shaft the lower shaft just uh, spinning on its own it's like it lost control um, two things I'm going to do but first thing first cable uh, that's connected to this steering rack but as you can see I try to um, JB while this thing and uh, it's still uh, not very um, it's, it's connected but it's not it's not like totally locked in um, if you pull hard enough it's gonna come off you know and uh, I think there's a uh, that go through this hole here and lock this cable from this um, steering rack. Um, you know, I try to use this uh, screw here, but it's too big. So I'm going to see if I can find something to lock this rack with this cable so that there is no play, uh, it, so that this does not come off. Um, you know. Because I think it's uh, too much uh, loose end on, on this uh, cable right now. Because um, it spins freely and um, it's just not good. Um, okay? So, this cable got too much free play. did it before to try to claim this down. Um. Apparently, this is a very poor design by Motor Guy. Uh, this old uh, trolling motor. Because this rack gear, steering gear, is um, um, sitting right here. And um, it's supposed to go into these cables. And it's not supposed to come off. But it comes off all the time, as a lot of people are saying. So, I'm going to try to find out how to um, uh, you know you can see people try to crunch this down um, in the past but um, it still come out so I'm gonna hopefully um, put some screws through this hole and lock it to, to see if I can uh, lock it down uh, lock this cable down you know it's a pain in the neck because it comes off all the time so. That's what I'm going to Okay, guys. What I have here is a power head of a trolling motor. It is a motor guy, 70 pounds, 24 volts, Pro Series trolling motor. So, uh, what I don't have on this picture, in this picture, is the, this is the shaft going all the way down to the lower unit and the propeller. Um, uh, that's not shown in this picture, but the, the, what I'm trying to show you is, um, when I was out on the water, uh, trying to fish and trying to use this, uh, trolling motor, my foot control pedal lost control of this motor, and I didn't know what happened, so I cracked open, to, uh, this pl plastic, black plastic cover, of the power head and I was able to see this metal piece with many teeth 
that was set in this plastic um, base uh, that that match the um, the, the the metal gear uh, right here with many uh, electric wires coming out of it. Uh, these the this this metal piece was separated from this steel cable that link to my foot control pedal and because the two pieces were separated that's why the lower uh, unit was spinning um, and the propeller was spinning but it would not translate or transfer the left or right through this steel cable to my foot control pedal and apparently so I searched online to find a solution and apparently this is a very common problem for this um, for the motor guide pro series uh, trolling motor and I didn't see anybody come up with a solution so I um, came up with this one solution I decided to share with you and post this video the way I fix it was I try to insert this steel cable into this uh, back into this um, metal piece with many teeth and actually there is a name for this metal piece it's called the steering rack gear and there's a hole here and I can see this steel cable um, uh, went into here and I can see the, the uh, in the hole this steel cable actually passed through it uh, but not much longer in not it, it, it's actually pretty much stop right there you know um, maybe just another you know one tenth uh, of an inch uh, into that hole or uh, past that hole so I figure okay you know if I can put a drywall one inch drywall screw through this thing I should be able to lock or pinch this steel cable inside of this um, rack gear, steering rack gear, and tightly uh, force the two pieces mate very, very tightly. So that's what I did. I drive, I drove this, um, inserted this one inch uh, drywall screw, and I tried to pull the steel cable, but you know, I, I, as you can imagine, it's so tightly pinched, and you can't even, it, it's impossible, you know, or almost impossible to pull this thing out of this uh, rack gear so that's my solution to resolve the problem the, the next thing I want to do is uh, get a an angle grind uh, cutter to cut off the, uh, the tip the tiny tip that uh, went through this uh, hole as well as the uh, rest of the screw head so this way uh, this thing can be uh, uh, put back into this plastic um, housing and mate with this gear so these two T's I mean the T's on these two metal pieces the uh, long um, one and the sitting there one will mate uh, completely together and nicely and then um, the motion in the uh, propeller can be transferred through the these two uh, mechanical pieces and through this steel cable back to my um, foot control pedal so this way I can use my foot control uh, pedal to control this trolling motor to turn left and turn right uh, once again you know so that uh, solves the problem thank you uh, so keep watching because I'm going to show you how I cut the thing and stuff okay thank you